Hey guys, my name's Josh. I'm also known on this channel as Verka. I figured I'd give you a couple tips on how to make your channel easily findable. Uh, we're also going to be talking about channel URLs, how to change your URL, and how to make some custom thumbnails for your video. Very easily with no programs downloaded, uh, no expensive programs, nothing like that. So let's jump straight away right into the video. What you want to do is come over here, click on this, and then click on the YouTube settings right here. Then you're going to go down underneath your name and click on advanced. Once that pops up, you'll see my YouTube URL is youtube.com slash C slash Verka. Uh, so basically what that means is you can go up here and go to youtube.com slash Verka. Oh, misspelled. And you don't even have to put in the C or anything and it's going to take you straight away. Boom, there's my channel. Easy to find. So how you do this is this has changed a little bit. In the past, you used to be able to come onto YouTube, make an account, and change your URL straight away. Now, the policies have changed, and you have to wait 30 days, or have 500 subscribers, or alternatively, if you have a website, you can plug it in, uh, connect your website, and then you'll be allowed to change your URL. What I did was I just waited 30 days. And then, underneath here somewhere, after your 30 days, this might show up on your Google Plus page as well. Um, you'll have a link to click and then choose your URL. Go with the one that is slash C slash. Um, that'll be the easiest one to find. The other one I think is like a, it's like Google user or some, something weird like that. Don't go with that one. Uh, and then when you make your URL, keep in mind that you can only change this one time. So you don't want to put something weird in there like, I pooped my pants because then forever you know you're gonna be known as youtube.com slash I pooped my pants and that's not a good look at all so you want to keep it short too you don't want to go like epic sniper 44556 because nobody's gonna remember that nobody's gonna be able to remember oh it's three fives you know maybe they'll be like they'll think this is your channel or something like that so keep it simple Maybe your gamer tab is, is Epic Steve. So if Epic Steve is available, go for Epic Steve. And then that'll be, you know, the easiest way to find you. So that when you type it, go to YouTube.com, you can just tell your friends. Hey guys, go to YouTube.com slash Epic Steve. And then, uh, I totally didn't put a slash there, but you get the idea. It'll be easy to find. So the second thing that I want to show you guys, we're going to go to video manager here. I'll give you some time to catch up. Then go down to channel. Again, you're going to go with advanced. Right here, this is key for having your, your uh, YouTube channel pop up when somebody does a Google search or something like that. Uh, now right now I have a couple general tags that are probably not helping me out at all. If somebody types in Call of Duty, they're going to find millions of channels, millions of videos, millions of topics about it. So tags like this are probably not a good idea. Now, on the other hand, this right here is my gamer tag. It's also my YouTube name. So if somebody goes to Google.com, I'll show you real quick just how well this works. Google.com. This is why you want to keep it unique now. Verka. Boom. I'm top of the list right there on Google. And there's my YouTube so people can just click that right away and find me and that definitely improves my ability to like tell friends about me oh just go to google.com and type in Virgo you'll find my YouTube channel right away you know it makes it super easy for them uh, so keep these tags relevant to you um, and unique to you uh, so you'll just have to play around with that and think of some good ones for yourself maybe you got your gamer tag in here and then you got your YouTube channel that's going to be linked to your URL or whatever. Uh, just type that in here and you're good to go. I think you can do quite a bit of them. So I've got my old um, YouTube channel I, I just put in there. Uh, maybe somebody will type that in and they'll find my new channel or something like that. I have the word racism in here because uh, on my video manager, let's go over here. Um, 
this is my last video hold on I'm not sh showing the for some reason the thumbnail is not showing up in my video manager but since we're moving on to talk about video or thumbnails I'll take you down here and I'll show you I made this thumbnail this was a, a video I made talking about racism um, in America so I made this thumbnail right here completely free with no expensive programs uh, I'm still learning how to get better at making thumbnails but uh, what you want to do is go over here and go to pixlr.com now today I've been having some problems with this website it's been kind of overloaded it seems like a lot of people are finding out about it so um, yep we'll just refresh it a couple times there we go straight away right in so once you get in here go to create new image and then you're gonna want to hit this right here and go down to movie 720p that'll give you the dimensions uh, for YouTube videos and then you can just go right in here and uh, I'll show you another website real quick cooltext.com this is what I've been using <laughs> I mean this is kind of a ghetto way to make thumbnails but it works so just quick click on a uh, font that you like and then you can type in Burka. give it a second and it will update that and then you can change the size and download it from there works really well very easily and then so once you have your cool text or whatever you want to use just go to open image and we'll just pull this one out you can click on image tab right here and change the size of the image I'm gonna go with 550 click OK and then you're gonna go over here to your layer and then you can just drag it on uh, click on this tab right here that's your move tool and you can move it around to wherever you want to put it you can also do things like go good go over to Google or this is not Google I don't like that search engine uh, type in like if your video is gonna be about Call of Duty go to Call of Duty PNG a PNG file basically means that the background is uh, cleared out and should be transparent so um, you can just download whichever one you want I have one downloaded already so I'll just kind of show you how that goes um, here we go we got ghost so I'm not gonna resize them or anything for right now but we can just move them wherever we want to be now as you can see in this one he still has a background behind him but you can get rid of that fairly simple you just use the mark tool click on it it'll highlight a section then you can get your eraser out and erase that away and it won't erase the guy himself because the mark tool does not have him marked and then you'll just go to edit and deselect all and then say you're done with that and then you can go back to your move tool and move them around wherever you want uh, just play around with that a little bit um, I'm still learning how to get good at making uh, um, YouTube thumbnails but you know I mean this is a, a pretty ghetto cheap easy way to do it um, just don't overdo it you know don't put like a whole bunch of stuff going on keep it kind of simple your name maybe an image that you like and then maybe the title of the video and that'll give you a better chance of somebody clicking on your video see I would just buy like if these were the two videos that I had to watch right now I'd probably go with this one just because it's like whoa you know that looks kind of controversial I'm, I think I'm gonna click on that you know it grabs attention that's the that's the whole point of it um, now let's talk about channel art for a second real quick my channel all right so here you see I have like a banner that uh, my buddy I am Nam Scram made for me and then I had this one made this uh, avatar made um, you can also make these guys in uh, this pixel app right here if you wanted to uh, you'll just have to search and find the dimensions and stuff like that uh, so just play around with that um, and then right here you can see you can also change to have your uh, Let's say your Twitter you could have your Facebook up here blah 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 and have all of these things connected so that uh, while you're on Twitter you can be talking about your channel and sharing your videos or whatever and then let's say in a video you're like hey guys go check out my my Twitter you know follow me people can just come here click right away and go straight to your Twitter account so 
those are kind of my tips for right now. Um, if I think of anything else, I'll def definitely let you guys know. Um, if you enjoyed the video or it helped you out at all, please leave a rating. Um, you know, those things always help to, you know, help a channel grow. And that's what it's all about, guys. Uh, so far, I'm up to 81 subscribers. So thanks to everybody who subscribed. And uh, we're just going to keep on trucking. Uh, if you're thinking about getting into YouTube, it's a struggle, man. There's a lot of channels offering a lot of the same things that you're offering. So m maybe you're making, you know, Call of Duty montages or, or whatever. Uh, you're really going to have to try to go out of your way to be different, uh, to grab people's att attention. You know, you know, just be yourself and uh, keep at it. And eventually, you know, if your content's decent, then people will... Uh, will find out about you and follow you and I wish you the best of luck on YouTube. It's been Verka guys and I'm outie.